Game on, everybody. I'm Ryan. I'm Brock. And we are the, the Bit, Bit Warriors. Warriors. Welcome back to another episode of Metal, Metal, Gear, Solid. Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> I almost said <laughs> Metal Solid. Metal Seer Golid. Metal Seer Golid. We met Metal Gear Solid. Welcome to Metal Gear Solid, everybody. So, in the last episode, we basically fought against Revolver Ocelot, and then and then a mysterious ninja who we don't know the name to yet. I'm um, just recent, just um chopped off Ocelot's hand, and now we got and we talked to Meryl's codec frequency and all that, and now we are going to continue on with our adventure. So yeah. what? So what we need to do now is now we wait. <laughs> No, we don't need. We don't need to wait yet. Oh, oh! There's a guard. I see a guard. So what we need to do is we need to head back upstairs, and we need to get a few items from here and there upstairs. All right. So I just gotta be careful. Wait for the camera to move, and then I will move. No, oh, no, not a good time, Meryl. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks, Thanks but this is not at a good time right now. Don't yeah, we try to leave. Too much. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we might be guys in the camera. Hopefully not. Okay. 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 What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Are you two talking smack? Also, guys, you may not be able to tell right now, but Brock is wearing a Metal Gear Solid Five Ground Zero hat, and I am wearing a a camo snake bandana. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. So yeah, you guys will see that later on when we get to uh, like some extra parts of the Let's Play where we pretty much need to break the fourth wall. Because this game has that. The fourth wall. The fourth wall gets broken. See you there. You get broken later. Okay, okay, now I need to... Come on! I'm holding on the D-pad right now. Just holding up on it. Oh, 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 this game is loving me. All right, so I gotta grab a few items here. Like I gotta, I gotta grab a cardboard box. You want, you wanna know what the box does? You wanna know what the box does, Brock? It's, it's a box. <laughs> it's a box. Oh, uh, for you, be in a video on YouTube that the, the, the guy did in the store in a box. Yeah, that's a the, yeah. He was actually referencing Metal Gear Solid. I showed you that because that was a Metal Gear Solid joke. See, I'm in a box, and if you're in the box, nobody can see you. Just get a box now. Okay, so there's also one more thing that I gotta do. One 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 teeny inty winty thing I gotta do real quick is that see that guard <laughs> over there? I need to get to those doors. All right. I know he's I know he's blocking my way. He's a bit of a hindrance right now. But I need to get to I need to get to that box. I need to get to that room over there. Alright, don't just turn back, turn back. Yes, 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 yes. Ah oh, shit. Okay. No, 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 come on. Alright, here we go. Did you just flip them? Yeah, I did. I used a, a good old tactical espionage action right there. Be a box. I gotta grab this. I gotta grab a mind detector. I probably should have grabbed the silencer that was on the bottom floor, but I didn't do that. Alright, so I am good. I'm in the clear for the time being right now. Okay, so is there anything over here? Yes! Give me that ration. Give me that sweet, sweet, delicious ration. They're actually not that tasty, actually. They're actually pretty gross. If you've been to war, you pretty much know what they taste like. I haven't been to war, so I don't really know. I was told they have like it's a it's a ration, but it's a pizza, but it's dry. A dry pizza? Yep. Yuck. Or at least it, it kind of it still tastes the same, but it just doesn't have the sauce in it. How the hell? Oh! Oh! He heard me on the footsteps. Oh! I just threw him off the bridge. Do it again. <laughs> oh, nice! Nice! Yeah. Oh, damn it! Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? <laughs> Shut up, Colonel. I just need to figure stuff out now. 
Okay, do I have to call Meryl again? Please tell me I don't have to call Meryl again. I pre I have to call Meryl again, don't I? Who are you? Okay, just I'm just gonna skip through all this dialogue. <clears throat> You're not supposed to do that in Metal Gear, but I'm doing it anyway. She loves his eyes. <laughs> Actually, he he likes her eyes. Oh. Those are not soldiers' eyes. Those are rookies' eyes. That's what he's saying? Yeah, that's what he's saying. Oh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Blah, blah, blah. This weapon is, a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. I get it, I get it, I get this it. This is a really long conversation. I'm just tapping it as hard as I will when I have to get to the torture sequence. Holy crap. It keeps on going, going. And then like temp and then like little animated chuckle and all that stuff. All right. So here's what I should have done. I was being stupid, and this is what I should have done. I should have gone to here first, and then I should have snuck up behind this guy. He's sleeping. Yeah. But watch what watch what happens. If you're if you're if you're right behind a, gu a guy and he doesn't know you're there, and you stand perfectly still, you can just spam triangle. And snap his neck. Huh. So there's the SOCOM suppressor. So basically what that does with my gun is that it gives it a silence. It gives it a silencer, yeah. You're check you're you're catching on, Brock. You're oh, catching I, on. You know how I figured it out. Or okay, Call of Duty has it. They are pricey. This isn't Call of Duty though. This oh. invented Call of Duty. No, like I'm talking about the guns and stuff. They have well, all the guns have on there. Call of Duty has it. Boom, 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 boom. Time for me to sneak under the tank. But you know, you know we use, we don't use the silencer, we use the, um, it's actual oil filter for a silence. <laughs> to me, it's funny. I got news for you, Brock. What? We are not going to record Call of Duty on this channel. Not I, ever. No, I know. For, 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 I, I, I was just showing, to tell you what, Snake, what you I did in it. You know, if there's any Team Price. Deathmatch games that I actually plan for us to record, it's gonna be Team Fortress 2, mm -hmm. and probably Halo, I'm disguised in this enemy but not Call of Duty. Not Call of Duty. Mm. You won't be for long with the way you walk. Because she's, because when she walks, she her ass sort of shakes a little bit. You got a great butt. You're eating gummy snakes. Mm. I'm eating snakes. I think I'm taking all the fishing garbage can. Oh. There's a garbage can right here. I can't reach it. I'm so lazy that I can't even reach over the garbage can that's right on the other side of my friend. Okay, now we'll wait for that camera and then go! Okay, good, and go, 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 go. Okay. I gotta grab everything that I that I already grabbed beforehand, like this box. It was my destiny to be here in the box. More than that, it was my destiny. I got this feeling to get inside, and on, on, for some odd reason. Okay, whatever you say. What are you even talking about? You should come in the box. Then you'll know what I mean. Man, I don't want to know what you mean. I suppose even that dumbass box is good for a disguise as well. <gasps> well, uh, well, I have a box. Oh, I actually do have a home, actually. That, that's, that's not big enough, though. That's the biggest key for for anything Metal Gear Metal Gear related. You always gotta grab yourself um, a box. Always grab yourself a box because they that will be a, the, your ultimate form of protection in the Metal Gear universe. Always grab a box. Just remember that. Tip for life, guys. Always grab a box. You always need to grab a box. You know the weird part is? I had a dream about this. You had a dream about all this? Yeah. <laughs> like, I did the same, too. So basically, history is repeating itself for you. Mm-hmm. You know, it's very weird when you get when you basically go to sleep and you have, like, one dream, like, uh, a long time ago, and then all of a sudden you... You experience it later on, and then it's like, I've done this before. 
Holy shit! You know about yesterday? I had dreamed the same thing yesterday too. But I dreamed that Saturday night. I came to work on Sunday. It happened. You know, I had a, I had a dream where I was I had a dream where where in secret I f I flipped off my dad in my room when he wasn't looking, and I was afraid that he would turn around and see. And then I, that was the dream, all right. And then a few weeks later, I had that same I that happened in, to me in real life, and it was just like I've done this before. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. I already saw them, Meryl. I already saw them. I turned on my I turned on my thermal goggles before you even said that. The doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Okay, so this is gonna be this part is very is makes me very makes me very this part makes me clench my toes up. Cause I always don't know where the lasers are gonna, where the lasers are located. Like there, I could see the laser perfectly fine, but here, I start to get very confused, and I don't oh, I know. I know they're gone. See, the lasers are going up and down. I can't really tell which is which. Yeah, I didn't remember those. Things. Yeah, you. Yeah, you gotta pay attention to the lines that are on the floor. Okay. 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 I'm. I'm so nervous. There's that one. And, and go. okay, and Don't. go. Okay, <laughs> nice job, nice job. Yep, triggered. Oh yeah, you're eating gummy snakes. You got your hands all sticky now. <laughs> Just you eating it, eating it. You're basically eating it like the same way a cat would eat grass. They just, they just like move their jaw all over the place when they eat. <laughs> yeah, I wish you guys could see this. All right, so I need to put up the mine detector. See that? Mines. All right. And I also get a, get a get a hilarious phone call from somebody with a hilarious name. Snake, be careful. There are claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. <laughs> Just call me Deep Throat. You know why I'm called Deep Throat Snake? Because I want to Deep Throat you. Who are you anyway? What kind of name? What kind of code name is that? Just call me Deep Throat. <laughs> it's like call. It's like um. Just call me Ass Licker. Ass Licker. You know why I'm called Ass Licker? I like asses for living. I like licking ass. All right. So here's a boss fight. You guys think I can fight this guy? I don't have any grenades, which is what I'm gonna need for this boss fight, but it's okay. I'll find grenades. Oh, uh, it's Vulcan Raven in a tank. Well, no duh, they're cold-blooded. They can't survive up there. Survive what? They can't survive in Alaska. They're cold-blooded. Their blood would freeze. He's a ninja. Snake's no ninja. He's a mercenary. That's the difference. Right. You belong on the ground. Vulcan Raven. And he's just talking nonsense. <laughs> That's your impression of Vulcan Raven, just like hey, 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 hey. No, hey. you see a head. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and yet he's ta he's talking in like a in like in like a Native American accent. Like I am so I I hear that the spirit of the buffalo is the key to all power and wisdom and tranquility. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> you're doing monkey, you're doing like a little... 
Quit laughing at me, Vulcan. Quit laughing. <laughs> Got you. You think that was funny? You think that was funny? Well, guess what? Uh, guess what? I got you, I got you, I got you. When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna tear you a new... A no! Yeah, I got you, Oh, no, come on, 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 no, no, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, no! No, no, no! Snake! Are you there? I think I might have forgotten the grenades. I might have to go back. I might have to backtrack a bit and get some grenades. So you got grenades? No, I don't. Yeah. I have stun grenades, but those are not regular grenades. Oh. All right, you I'm going. You get a rocket launcher. You don't get a rocket launcher in this game. I wish. Well, actually, you do, but you need to save that. You need to conserve the ammo for that when fighting Metal Gear. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. I feel very stupid right now. I feel very stupid. I goofed. I done goofed. I made a mistake, but that's okay. I'm heading back to undo my mistake. Uh -oh. Ah! Fuck. Do I have a gas mask? Do I have a gas mask? Nope, I don't have a gas mask yet. Well, just kill me. Just kill me. I deserve it. I deserve it for my own stupidity. I deserve it. I deserve it. It's my fault. My fault entirely. My fault. And then Colonel's just basically like, Snake, you fucking dumbass. Snake. You should have gotten grenades. Yeah, I can actually see the lasers a little bit. They're a bit on the ethereal side, but I can see them. Okay, just go down. Go down, laser. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. And whoop. No! Damn it. A second time? Clunky controls. I mean, this game is a masterpiece, but man, are these controls clunky. I mean, they were great for their time, but now by today's standards, they're a bit dated. It's This game has age, but it's still a classic nonetheless. No. Snake. Snake. Oh, it was Mei Ling that time. <laughs> that wasn't Colonel that time, it was Mei Ling. Why did you say Snake? Your Soliton Radar. She's, she's the one that you talk to in order to save your game. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Keep waiting, keep waiting, keep waiting, 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 waiting. Now go. Okay, and go. Yay! All right, good, I made it. I survived. All right, so I, I've, I've, I done goofed. I done goofed, but that's okay. I'm heading back. I'm heading back. I need to go down a basement too, and I need to grab some stuff that I forgot. I should have grabbed it. I was stupid. I was very, very stupid. That's a guy right there. You, you and I just killed him. And you just walked past him too. Yeah, but he didn't see me. I didn't. I didn't go into his field of vision, because these guys suffer from tunnel vision almost. As That's long as you're for. as long as you're 10 feet away from them, they can't see you. Video game logic at its finest. There we go. There we go. I feel I feel very stupid for not grabbing those grenades. Very stupid. Like very stupid. But hey, at least I have my box. At least I have the box, and that's what I'm the most happy about. I got a box. <laughs> I got a box. Imagine just seeing. Why a, was doing the box? Imagine just seeing a box walk around, just walk around you without any, without any rhyme or reason. You just, you just like, you're just casually walking through a hallway, and then you just see a box walk across the hallway. <laughs> you should do that story. <laughs> What's what their reaction is? 
Like this. Like, just imagine, you're out in a facility and then you see this. Just like, what? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> That's what your natural reaction would be. <laughs> You'd just be like, what the hell is that guy doing? Waiting. And wait Waiting. for it. Wait for it. Wait. Wait. Go. Go. Yeah, yeah me, yeah, yay me. Three cheers for Ryan. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! That was four cheers, but whatever. So, I guess four is better than three. Mm. Four cheers. That's right. That's right. Four cheers. Oh, guy, call. Uh, this guy again. Be careful. There are claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call, call me, me Deep Throat. <laughs> That's still funny. The fact that he he goes by the code name of Deep Throat. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. <laughs> well, you're a fan. <laughs> he's a fan, and he's also named Deep Throat. <laughs> I get. I guess we now know why he's called Deep Throat. He basically answered the question that I asked before. Like, you, Snake, you know why I'm called Deep Throat? Because I want to deep throat you. Yeah, I answered your question. <laughs> Like, just imagine, like, after after your solid defeats Liquid Snake, all of a sudden he gets deep-throated by one of his fans. <laughs> that would be one hell of an ending. Alright, so we should probably watch the cutscene, because we didn't watch that. We were too busy fucking around. I made a joke about how snakes don't belong in Alaska because they're reptilian and all that. And, you know, cold-blooded animals can't survive in cold-blooded environments. Yep, and you were making a joke about his head bobbing. He's also got a lot of tattoos on his body. Well, was he in jail? That's your message, dude? You shot a, you shot a, you shot a tank missile at me and that's your message? I thought it was like a ball of bombs. That's right. You belong <laughs> on the out. ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. That's racist against snakes. You racist bastard. Go. Let's fight. Okay, I gotta crawl. I gotta crawl to get over here. I gotta crawl to grab that mine. I'm gonna need to use those mines to my advantage when I get to like a really great part of the game. Okay, now... Okay, I got the mine detected. I got the, I got that now. Now I'm gonna have rations equipped, and I'm gonna have my uh, grenades equipped, and now it's time for me to run! Dun 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 Oh damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! He re he's running over me! He's right on top of me, dude! Ooh! Oh damn it! Damn it! He's running over me again. He loves to run on me over. He loves to run me over. Whoa! Oh good! I I knock, I I blew that guy out of the tank. Oh, you're stuck under the tank. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna get out. It's okay, the rations will automatically heal heal for me. See? They healed they healed for me. <gasps> no! Get this bastard. Okay, come on. Okay, there's a grenade on top. There's a grenade on top. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah! yeah! The other grenade went uh, actually inside the tank. Oh, it did? Yeah. <laughs> actually inside the tank. You got a sharp eye, Brock. Because because he watched inside the grenade, and what smash went in. Well, from what one grenade just inside the vehicle to blow the whole thing up. 
I'm su- I'm surprised the Vulcan Raven isn't dead either. Mm. He's not dead, by the way. No. I don't believe it. He won't die. Hey, look at this. I got a ticket to a movie. I'm going to go see it. What, what movie? Uh, Fast and the Furious 25. 25? There's not 25 yet. That's the joke. What did you oh. think of him? <laughs> he is just as you said. Oops. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. And Once I'm I that knew, demon. I would expect no less. See? I told you so. <laughs> I will kill him. You so, see? General I told Tyler, you so. I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to The be spirit seen. of the buffalo is the way the to wisdom and now. tranquility. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. That guy, that guy. He's he, a loser. He is crazy. He is Coco. Is he smoking a cigarette? He was gaining his composure. He was basically oh. thinking. I guess he could have been smoking a cigarette. Well, actually, I got cigs right here. Now I'm smoking a cigarette. <laughs> also, it drains my health, so not a good idea. But you know what I is a good idea? Using this box. <laughs> I'm gonna use this box of victory. Just use the box again. Yeah, I'm gonna use the box. I actually wanna see the bo I actually wanna use the box in action, and this is the good time to use it. Phone call. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Hey, that's good game design. At least that way I won't shoot a shoot a gun. Don't you see them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all it's good old nanomachines. Plat convenience at it's, it's finest. Then like he's talking about boxes said. everywhere. Totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty idea. face for the media. You know, you could pretty, you could pretty much answer any question with nano machines, really, because nano machines are basically like plot convenience in um, the Metal Gear universe. Um, like, like, um, how come the toilet's clogged? Nano machines. <laughs> nano machines. Why does this comic book suck? Nano machines. <laughs> Why is this soda tasty? Nano machines. This is nano machines too. What the the taste the thirst of Mountain Dew? Yeah. Nano machines. <laughs> it's all nano machines. Also, I gotta I I also want to talk to Nastasha Romanenko. She's a she she's like a sexy Russian, a sexy Russian who knows all about nukes and weaponsry and all that. You know your number? Yep. It's one for one point five two. She's gonna get a cigarette. You're the nuclear specialist. Yeah, everybody smokes. Everybody smokes at Foxhound. You know why? Why? Nano machines. <laughs> it's all nano machines. Why? Why is this game so good? Nano machines. <laughs> why do I have asthma? Nano machines. <laughs> Why can't say about my PS4 because I got that for free? I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a nano machines. <laughs> <laughs> it's all nano machines, dude. I got that thing for free. I ain't paid for it. You know how you got it free though? What? Nano machines. Nano machines. <laughs> it was my brother in law. He gave it to me because he bought a new one. Because he has nano machines. Everybody has nano machines now? Yeah, we all have nano machines. You have nano machines. I have nano machines. Everybody has nano machines. How? Nano machines are in your blood. Ew, it's probably a joke. All right, so let's see the box in action. <laughs> hey, what is this? Oh, it's just a box. Oh, if like, don't go check it. Dope. No, no, I'll just walk away. Also, I watch it. If I'm, if I were to move, 
that he would have opened up the box and then I would have gotten caught. Um. See, the way the box works is you have to be up against the wall in order for it to work. You can't be out in the middle of nowhere because that doesn't work. You have to be against a wall. Because, because the, the, the nail... They won't get sus- it. They won't get suspicious otherwise. Oh, look at it. Huh? What is that? Oh, it's just a box. And then they would, and if you were out in the middle of nowhere, they would just like, they would just like open the box and then be like, hey you! And then the, then the music would play like, dun dun da da da, dun dun da da da. Gotta use your box. Oh yeah, use gotta use box. my box, gotta use my box. <laughs> gotta use my box, I gotta use my box. You're gonna die. There we go, snapped his neck. Ooh, Ooh, ration. A ration. Ration, 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 ration. <laughs> rashy, 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 ration. Rash your ass. Rash your ass? Yeah. Alright, so this is actually near my favorite part of the game, alright? Okay, so what you need to know is that Psychomancis is right beyond that door. And he's one of the best boss fights in the game. Alright? But we're not going to fight him yet. We're not going to fight him yet. Mm. I'll let you know when we're going to fight him. And when hey. you do, you should pull out your camera so that way everybody can see oh, the action. Now. You don't need to start now. You don't need to start now. Right, it's okay, you don't need to start now. I'll give you, I'll give you a signal. Alright? I'll give you my I'll give you not the middle finger but the ring finger um for when for when I'm not the middle finger the ring finger I'll give you the ring thing <laughs> I'll give you the ring finger when I'm ready when I'm ready to um show you I can't do it though I, I can do this but it's just eh. Eh. I had to hold it Yeah you're tr you're trying to do it but I can't do this though this. Ooh, I got a Nikita! <coughs> Whoa, that was loud. That was loud. <laughs> He's getting angry. Okay, okay. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Beat the box. Beat the box. Beat the box in the corner. I'm just gonna be a box. I'm just gonna be a box. Yeah, just gonna be a, just gonna be a box. I'm just a box. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm just a, just a box. A just a, coming, a, just a I'm just a box. 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 Oh, that scared me. That legitimately scared me. Ooh, my key. It worked. Oh, the door is not opening. There it Yay. is. So now with the Nikita launcher, I can now go downstairs into the ba into the second basement. And there's two basements. Yeah, it's, a, it's Shadow Moses. What do you expect? Sh there's two basements in Shadow Moses. I'll have the first basement. Um, or I'll have the first basement. Then you you can have the second basement. You gotta have a basement for the basement, you know. I have the first bedroom. That's the first basement. Then you have to you got to do your bedroom for, for second basement. All right, so for plus we can we can play games again online. All right, so this next part, this next part, I'm gonna need to get a gas mask for one part of the, for for this one room. I mean, yeah, yeah, I know this this part is filled. This place is filled with like with gas. All right, so I'm gonna need a gas mask. Also, I'm gonna need to hit that with the Nikita launcher. I just swiped across the microphone, and that probably sounded glorious. Like probably like that. That probably sounded glorious, didn't it? Snake, watch out! Side by that place is filled with gas. <clears throat> also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. Is the switchboard? The place is filled with gas, but so I'll deep throat it. it. Use a remote controlled missile. You hold your breath the whole time. All right, so now, okay, so here's the Nikita launcher. I gotta fire it into into the area that's that's causing the elect the floor to be high voltage. What the fuck happened? 
What? What do you mean? What happened? There's people trying to find the, the missiles. Coming yeah, that's the camera. Th those are the cameras. They're trying to shoot at me. Oh. They're shooting at the missile, trying to blow it up. But luckily, I st I managed to I managed to stop the high voltage um floor. So now I need to go into one of these rooms, find a gas mask, and then I can get the hell out of here. Well, yeah, do it quick. Yeah, I gotta do it. I gotta do it fast. I gotta do it for Metal Gear's sake. <gasps> There's the gas mask. There's the gas mask. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do. You're gonna put it on. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I also, I also need to unequip it so I, that way I can use the card keys to open the doors. It's a huge process, all right. Okay, so right now, I need to fill up my oxygen, all right. Then I'm gonna go in, put the gas mask on, and now I can just go through it safely, safely and securely, without any hesitation and worry in the world whatsoever. Then unequip it, put on the card key, open the door, and then off we go. So now we got another boss fight coming up. And this time it's that ninja. We're gonna fight the ninja. Jammy. 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 We're gonna fight the ninja now. It's done jamming. I know. I know jamming. it's jamming, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I made a joke in that one. Dead bodies everywhere. Who's been here before I was? It looks like they were it wasn't cut me. by some type of blade. Ooh, I wonder what type of blade it is. Maybe it was a katana. Maybe it was a katana. Hmm? Maybe it was a katana? <laughs> a sword. That's what a ninja sword is, a katana. I thought there's more swords than that one. Oh, it's no ghost, man. It's no ghost. He's been stabbed. Ooh, I wonder what that sound was. Hmm. It said bullets. Are you constantly just gonna go up to the microphone, just constantly like talking really close to it? Or are you just gonna ever like talk normally into the mic? You really don't know, do you? <laughs> okay. Oh, this guy's still alive. He's still alive. Look at the codec frequency. He's still alive. He's humping the floor. <laughs> He's not really humping the floor. He's laying on his back. He's breathing really hard. <sighs> I just ejaculated all over the floor. See that blood right there? That's pus. I shit over the floor. And you might pee in the floor. I bled out of my ass. Ugh. That's nasty. Yeah, please stop that. <laughs> please stop that. <laughs> it it is so nasty. <laughs> From Family Guy. That's nasty. Oh, here's the ninja. Help me, help, help. I'm going to die here. Oh, he I'm, wet himself. I'm peeing myself right now. I'm so scared. Oh, camouflage. Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? This guy says some hilarious dialogue coming up, so keep your mouth shut. Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? That's Deep Throat. Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. <laughs> That's the that was the that was the quote I was talking about. <laughs> it's just like in my Japanese animes. But yeah, you're correct. That is Deep Throat. That is Deep Throat. Did you recognize the voice? Mm -hmm. 
I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. I give my life, not for honor, but for you, <laughs> snake you eater. Like if he, he just wants a locker. Man. Yeah, he did. Keep your hands off him. He's gonna watch the fight anyways. Yeah, this is gonna be really epic. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. All right, so I basically gotta fight him fist to fist, like this. He disappeared. Fight his warriors. Ah, bit warriors, eh? Bit warriors. We're fighting. Basically, basically, Solid Snake versus Deep Throat. He's actually got a different name, but he's gonna reveal. But it's gonna be revealed at the end of the fight. So basically, I have to keep dodging his um, cartwheel attacks, and then boom. Bam, bam, bam! Dude, don't hurt me. I'm gonna run away. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, that was a ninja ground pound. Ninja ground pound! Asarina undo standaro! I can't say dritto! Oh, he just he just kicked some of the glass. Oh, that was nasty. That's oh, good oh, here. Hurry up and catch me. Okay, so now he's invisible, but here's the trick, guys. Here's what you gotta do. What you gotta do is you gotta use the... If you don't know where he is, you gotta use the thermal goggles. Because then, all of a sudden, you can see him now. I can see you. I saw you, I knew where you were hiding before, but now I can see you perfectly. Bam, bam, bam! <laughs> he found him. Bam, bam, bam! I didn't even know he was gonna pop up there. That was just pure coincidence. Like old times. Is he hinting that he was in the previous games before Metal Gear Solid? Like the MSX games? Oh no, I'm dead. I'm dead. You freaking you forgot to use the rations. Yeah, I forgot to use the rations. Well luckily we can start at the fight again. The beginning of the fight or the middle of the fight? Well we have to start from here. We have to start from here again. We can you know, I would skip the cutscene, but then again, I really like that quote. It's just like in my Japanese animes. <laughs> I think he said crying. And then you just watch his pants. You just watch him wet himself. And then all of a sudden he's like, these guys are just like in my Japanese animes. What? What are you talking about? Look at how wimpy and pathetic this guy is. Oh, he's wearing his glasses. Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? I am going to deep throw I you, Snake. I am back from we are gonna fight, and then afterwards, so I'm going to deep throw you. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. <laughs> okay, okay, I had my fun. I had my fun. Now let's fight. I had my fun. Now let's fight. Yeah, I'll make you feel alive again by kicking your ass. So now I have to repeat the entire fight again. But luckily it's a short one. And a rather easy one. I just gotta I just gotta pay attention, that's all. Only a fool trusts his life with his weapon. I agree. I agree. 
Bam! Hey, is that a PlayStation? PlayStation? Yeah, right there. That's a PlayStation. Oh, it is. Or maybe that's a Sega Saturn. It looks like a Sega Saturn as well. Maybe it's a Sega Saturn. Or maybe it's a PS1. Who knows? If you guys know, comment down below if if it's a if it's a Sega Saturn or a PlayStation Classic or not a, not a PlayStation Classic, a PS1 Normal. Yup, bam, bam, bam. I gotta have my rations out for this fight. I forgot about that because I was dumb. I'm not paying attention. All I'm doing is just cracking jokes the entire time, even though I should be paying attention because this is a serious. Because this was intended to be a serious let's play, but then all of a sudden we were just like, ask her that. <laughs> now he's invisible. He's invisible, not invincible, Brock. Yeah, I'm using your rash. I have to have my thermal goggles out for this, so that way I can see him. You know what? I should probably use one of my rations preemptively, like now and then switch to my thermal goggles there we go now i'm playing smart playing smart and strategic the way i should have been playing where, is he? where are you right there where are you deep throat there you are it was in the same spot come on i know you want to deep throat me i know you want to deep throat me so i'm gonna kick your ass Jeez, that sounds masochistical. I don't even know what I said was a real word. I know masochist is a real word, but I don't know if masochistical is a real word. Oh, nice, I dodged that. Oh, you want me to hurt you more? He's gonna be like, hurt me more, daddy. Oh, that, that, took, a, that took us turn for the south real quick. Harder, harder, S harder, faster. That's it. I, I just created a fan fiction that I instantly regret. Okay, so now he's gonna do this thing. He's now gonna do that sort of deal. So what that so what he does now so what he does now is he basically like does that electronic explosion sort of deal and I got to punch him when the explosion is down See that we're we're right back at the PlayStation or maybe that's a Sega Saturn I don't know I feel like that's a PlayStation maybe we'll see it on closer examination Yeah PlayStation Yeah that's a PlayStation Definitely a PlayStation, not a Sega Saturn. Sega Saturns have six face face buttons, not four. Okay, good. We fought him. We're good. We're good there. He <laughs> lost getting hurt. Do you remember me now? Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. Killed in Zanzibar. Could it be? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Not again. The the medication? What's happening? What? Okay, this got grim real quickly. Is it over? Hardly. Not yet, dude. Okay. That just happened. Gray Fox. Colonel, that ninja.
Ninja is Gray Fox. Well, now we have an actual name, Gray Fox. I'm gonna start calling him Gray Fox now because Deep Throat kind of wears thin after a while. But he didn't. What? And it sounds better anyway. Before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier it's like having a character whose whose name is Dick McSucky Pants. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Doctor. It really knocks away all seriousness Dr. if you have a character yes. like that, he with that name like that. Project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And Gray that Fox was, was Gray the victim. Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They How did they do that? Nanomachines. machines. Drug for four Nanomachines. years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? <laughs> That's really Naomi, amazing. What happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is why? From what good I question, tell, Colonel. That is a good question was. indeed. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Well, I know that's not gonna be a gr that's not gonna be a happy ending. How long mm -hmm. are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? <laughs> Come on, yeah. get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? Hal Emmerich. Remember the name, because he's an important you know character me? in this series. I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Huh. Are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yes, yeah. Metal Gear. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss. No, it's Basically. just like my Japanese animes. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. Well, now we know all the weapons it has. A railgun, you said? All yeah. the weapons. It uses magnets to fire bullets. I need the weapons. <laughs> the technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in Rex has got to be one of the coolest Metal Gears out of all of them. And Rivermore National Labs. I mean, there's the Sahalanthropus and Ray, but I don't think, but I think Rex is is great on the intimidation sure like feature. Sahalanthropus is ridiculous, though. Carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Well, 
Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Could it be like in my Japanese animes? National Labs was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing. Nova, NIF. So they That's developed a, a new type of nuclear That's weapon in VR happening. testing lab, huh? That is yes, a NIF. You can't use virtual <laughs> data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But you it's bored? just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. Damn. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. Don't cry your ass off, Ada Khan. Yeah, that, that... <laughs> the truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. Okay. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. He definitely does, a rather dark sense of humor. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind, it's just in the movies. It's just in my Japanese enough animes. Crime. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Enough crying. Pull out. Pull out? <laughs> Sex joke. Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where is that? North of the Rex. communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too. Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. Okay, this is one thing that I'm going to need to pay attention to. Um, Hal is going to mention his um codec frequency, and I'm going to need to remember it. On that leg of yours, because he doesn't give it to you directly. Down. You kind of need to remember you it and input it yourself. Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. All right. I'll let you tag along. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know I can see well, through the seams on Autocon's um, hood. Don't worry, I've got this. Good. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. No, Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good, but I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. So I'm going to entertain you guys while Brock is now? talking to his girlfriend on the phone. <gasps> oh no. Damn, they spotted me. <laughs> Meryl, what happened? Meryl? Uh-oh. Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? Oh, this is important to the story. If she's An important part of the woman, story. You'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. 
Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otakon. 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 It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. It's like in my Japanese it's animes. The first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. It just sounds like a childish excuse to me. Yeah, it does a little bit. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Alright, 141.12, I got it. Alright, here we go. 141.12, everybody. And... There we go. Now I got it locked on my memory. You still haven't found Meryl? Snake, the Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there, too? Yep, I got you, Otacon. So now, I think I'm ready that I'm going to continue on, but for a second, I'll be right back for a quick break. <laughs> 